What do you not want me to make you look like? Oompa Loompa. Oompa Loompa. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's just go ahead and cut that clip. <laughs> All right, it is that time of year again. The water bath canner is out, the jars are getting out, and Jen is shredding up some zucchini. All right, it is officially canning season. We're late in the game for a couple reasons. Uh, one, my commercial garden like got ate up by a bunch of stuff, um, which we're gonna talk about eventually. So we didn't have the masses amounts that we thought we would. However, there were some things that did really, really well. Um, and we're also preserving in different ways, like fermenting and freezing and stuff like that. So just haven't had a need to bring out the canners yet, but you know, we're dying to do so. So Jen um, is going to make. Um, it's like a zucchini pineapple relish type thing. So I have a friend here who did this with her zucchini and she said it turned out wonderful. So I asked her for the recipe and it actually ended up being a recipe from that 1870s homestead. And which Rachel, you're also our friends. Which she's one of my great friends. I don't know how I missed that video, but I did. So that's what we're gonna do. And it's basically a substitute for pineapple. So anything you would put pineapple into and the zucchini makes it stretch a whole lot further and it gives you a way to use all that zucchini because we all know that we're all tired of it by this point. Right, and we've so. made all the zucchini bread we possibly can. And freezing shredded zucchini is also an option. However, when you also preserve meat, you normally don't have much freezer space. Yeah. So veggies are canned. And so I'm excited about this. I'm excited to taste it. I am too. So it's not going to be necessarily a how-to video, but I will link her video yeah. below so that you can watch her specific process and you'll just be along the way with us. Yeah, and we'll give you some basic tips along the way of canning, but just know that we're we're not USDA. Just always like to note that out there. Um, there might be some rebelness that might happen <laughs> that you might not agree with, but always follow your canning ball book if yep. you have any questions. So if you've never met... The chapa. The chapa. The chapa is popular with Jen and I when it comes to canning time. It's basically the only time we use it. It really is the only time we use it. But it's cool. It's just got a little blade down here. You pop it in there and you chop it all up. I got it for like, actually my mom gave it to me, but she got it for like 50 cents at the Goodwill. And it's the best little machine ever. It's absolutely amazing. And it doesn't take up space. Unlike some of these big chopper machines and stuff that you see out there. <laughs> and as you can tell, we think it's funny. We nicknamed it the chopper. Yeah. And side note, if you weren't aware, Jen is a canning queen. Um, a lot of people have given us a, some ideas on things to can with and stuff. I'm like, oh, Jen already has a recipe for that. So if you're curious or you're very interested in the canning, Jen probably has, I don't know, 50 videos around of canning. There's a playlist. Huh? We do have a lot. We do have a lot. It really is like bowling up to yeah. quite a few canning videos. Um, if you're interested in that and you want to see some of the stuff that we've um, can some of the stuff that were Jen's recipes go back I'll link that playlist down below and you can watch all of them or find the ones that maybe interest you because um, it is the heat of canning season and we're not gonna you know recreate the wheel here so go watch those videos I'm sure you'll find something in there you like so we are getting four quarts of zucchini the best way that we're measuring that out is she's putting it in the chapa we're filling it up in this this has four cups and one quart is four cups so we fill this up four times then put it up in our pot. So we're on round number two right now. Okay, so that was 46 ounces of pineapple juice. It was one and a half cups of lemon juice and now three cups of sugar. That's our last ingredient. Okay, then you're gonna stir it all together and you're gonna bring it to a boil and then we'll go from there. Jen broke the chopper. I broke the chopper. Mm, I don't wanna talk about it. She broke the chopper. <laughs> don't talk about it. <laughs> I'm very sad. It is now broke. I can't believe I talked about it so much. I'm just glad I didn't break it. Yep, now it's gone in the graveyard. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, Jen is working hard up in this kitchen. So she, got timer. oh, you got a timer, okay. So this came to a boil, correct? Yes. Once it comes to a boil, you bring it down to a simmer and it simmers for 20 minutes. Um, I don't know if she said you or not, but because we're water bath canning and it's like a lot of water, you wanna make sure you get that bad boy going at the start of this process yeah. to get it up, because if not, you're gonna be sitting and waiting. So we've already got our water bath going. 
she has sterilized all of our canning jars and then she's got our rings and it's just hot water right yeah. Yeah. I don't even think you have to do that anymore, but we did. Yeah. Old school. <laughs> He's funny. <laughs> I won today. <laughs> but not being like other things. Anyways, um, yeah, so we do that because it like sterilizes and just it's good to have everything nice and hot yeah. uh, and clean once you're good. I like everything the same temperature. So. Yeah, yeah, she has this, which is not, it, it is a legit fear, like taking hot to cold and it cracking. That is a legit thing, but like if it's like slightly colder than room temperature, she's like, we gotta get that bad boy hot before we do it. So, hey, it's fine. We haven't broken a jar yet. Nope, so, that, you right. know, that it might be not something. Not even one time. Not even one time. So, we've been canning for seven years, by the way. Seven years seven we've been years. canning. That's Pressure nuts. canning and water bathing. We actually saw our first pressure canning moment um, on our Facebook memories. Mm -hmm. um, we were actually at Grammy Karen's old house, and it was funny. That was a fun day. Um, because if you've never pressure canned, your first day is like the most nerve wracking day of your life. And then you realize it's no big deal. But yeah, seven years of canning, that's yeah. nuts. Yeah, it is. <laughs> now it's just second hand, but. It is, so like I got everything out of the day and I was like, oh, whatever, just go right back to it. Like I don't, I don't even think about it. Yeah. I know everything and I haven't forgotten anything. <laughs> right, and you'll get there too. Cause I know like people watching, some are like us, like more experienced canners, some have been in us like 40 years and some are just starting. So wherever you are in the journey, like know that you will get here too. Yeah. Just. Just do it, just can, and like you'll get there and don't be too scared. <laughs> okay, so I wasn't able to film um, the filling up the jars, but it's easy. You just fill them up and you leave a half an inch headspace. I got four full of the relish, pineapple, zucchini, whatever you want to call it, and then the rest are juice, so that's fine. Um, the juice doesn't go to waste, so that's pretty cool. Um, Rachel had done the same thing, and I really like that idea. So now we're going to put our lids on, fingertip tight. Uh, well, we're going to wipe our rims first because it is sticky. Put the lids on fingertip type and then put them in the canner. that put your lid back on make sure that that water comes back to a rolling boil and then water bath them for 20 minutes and that's it then you take them out it's super simple I tasted it it's really yummy I'm excited about it I got to use up zucchini and not have to waste it and that's just that's always great in my book because I hate wasting anything any food but especially food that we grow that comes out of the garden so yeah very easy all right I'm back um, I will tell you here in just a second what I'm doing for now and it's time to get these jars out of the water bath because the 15 minutes. 15 minutes, right? Yeah. Hey, all right. It's 15 and she said 20 before it. They look amazing. So now they just get to sit here overnight, seal, and then tomorrow um, we'll check, take the rings off, and check on make sure that they are all tinged in and canned and ready to go down into the pantry. Okay, so the canning piece is done, and I was gone for a minute, and Jen had to handle that herself because we have officially purchased something that you already know what it is, but it is officially underway now. But before we do that, we're very back. Important we're very important <laughs> update. The piano is now over here, and we got this little end table. We actually got our like a pretty awesome deal on Amazon, and it works out pretty fantastic. And of course, Jim put one of her devotional books there, and our oil lamp, and the now the sitting area is complete. Or is it? Or is it? <laughs> <laughs> what do you not want me to make you look like? <laughs> Excuse me, let's just go ahead and cut that clip. <laughs> so, I had to step away because the guy that we had been working with, I think we mentioned this, he was on vacation and, you know, they're salesmen. Uh, so I wanted to work with him, contact him today, 
had something that he wanted to talk to us about, so she was busy in the middle of canning, so I went out there. I was canning, and I was selling cream, and I got to meet one of my friends, so that was cool. Yeah, it worked out well. Um, It's going to be, it emphasizes the more importance of what we're about to share. Um, We bought our store. Like, it's officially, like, bought, and, like, starting to be built as of probably maybe tomorrow. Yeah. Maybe. (laughs) Um, It was really impressive. We've talked to a lot of these little companies, and they only had, like, a, what, 12-week turnaround? Yeah. Something nuts. Like, yeah. I mean, it was going to be middle of winter by the time we was going to get the store. Um, and our goal is for this to be, re- like, up and operating next year. Mm-hmm. So once we get it, we'll have the time to do the insulation, make it pretty on the inside, stuff like that, um, and just have, like, a winter project for that, um, and then have it operating. But, like, 12 weeks is like going to put us at the tight timeline. Yeah. Well, these guys, it's Hubbard's Cabin. Um, I don't know. I don't know if they go very Far, much further than outside of our area, but it's Hubbard's Cabin. We'll link their Facebook page down below if you are curious. They're great fellas. Um, we bought the place. Here's a picture of it. So that's a general, that's the colors and the size and where the door and the windows are going to be. Um, that was a totally different website, but it was one that does like those kind of cabins. Um, and it allowed you to build it yourself. Uh, so that was cool. So that is the color. It's going to be like a wood stained color, um, black tin. Now don't get at me <laughs> about the heat and that black tin. Believe, remember we were pole barn livers. Yeah, we know. So we know all about this. <laughs> well aware. Well aware. Um, but we did choose black one because it's pretty and we think it's going to match well, but this thing's going to be in like a hundred percent shade all, all the time. time. Um, And there will be AC in there. Um, We are going to have electrical in there. And the cool thing that I didn't know that they had is the cap that runs across the top. I call it a ridge cap. Ridge cap where the tin meets. It's going to be clear, which is very neat. So a 32, it's a 12 by 32. Sorry, I don't think I mentioned that. Um, It's a clear ridge cap for 32 uh, foot. And that's going to lend a lot of light in the top. So that's going to be really, really neat. Um, So that's exciting. That was the first big step to really get this going. Um, so her, her and I was talking how we need to go down there and stake where we want it to place, um, come get some rock and gravel, because that's something that we can go ahead and start doing, because I do want it to sit on gravel, not into the dirt. Um, and then start building like the pathways, and then start getting our parking lot ready and things like that, because that's yeah. stuff that we can go ahead and do and now while we wait on it to show up. Yeah, it's actually happening. It's really cool, because it's something we dreamed about doing like two years, three years ago, and it didn't happen. Yeah. And now it is, so... Very it's incredibly exciting. <laughs> so just when you didn't think we had enough going on, now we got to build a store. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Thankfully, the hard part will be done. The cottage. And finish the cottage. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Which is underway. <laughs> um, we'll promise we'll, we'll get y'all back over because we've done a lot of work, mm-hmm. like a lot. Um, y'all just haven't seen it yet. Um, do remember, you see a snippet of our day. We try to make it feel like you see a lot, um, but like we're just like running around with, like chickens with our heads <laughs> cut off and trying to remember to grab the GoPro as we yep. go. Um, but it's good. It's a good busy i guess is what i'm trying to say like we're not overstressed by the no, things it's, it's all very exciting stuff mm-hmm. um that are just making us meet our goals a little bit further yeah. and so i'm just i'm ready for it to get here um i'm excited because as we are starting approaching the end of like the heat of summer and the gardening season um that's going to start calming down some of our time to put into these winter projects yeah. and i'm just happy that they're both going to have heat Um, but let us know down in the comments your thoughts the color the reason we chose a stain um, they charge a lot for like paint yeah Um, and that stain I thought was going to be more log cabiny look Mm -hmm. which is what we were going for so let us know what your thoughts are um, down there let us know any thoughts that you maybe have inside the store maybe something that we haven't thought about Mm -hmm. Um, we have ideas on how to set it up Um, but if you've done this some of you might have like what work putting like where your cash register was and shelving and things like that we love to hear ideas and thoughts. Yeah, we also chose stain because they said that we could choose any paint color in the world that we wanted to. On uh, Sherman Williams. We like, never would have gotten that done. Never. So, he, he, looked at me, he, lo- he looked at me and she wasn't with me and I was like, listen, I'm not even talking about my wife. Like, <laughs> I wouldn't be able to make that decision either. And then if you put both of us together on a no. website of all the paint colors, never going to happen. Never gonna happen. <laughs> I said, you help, You tell me. He said, well, what about stain? I was like, sold, <laughs> sold. <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah well i hope you try that candy recipe i mean that's a really cool like substitute for pineapple and pineapple chunks and juice um it's really neat thank you rachel from that 1870s homestead make sure to go check out her actual video yep. of that way better than mine <laughs> <laughs> go make sure to check out her video on how she did hers um and then make sure you're checking out her playlist mm-hmm. of canning videos because like i said we're not like recreating the wheels so She's made a lot of great videos out there that are probably recipes yeah. that and you enjoy. And there will enjoy. be more this summer, too. 
Yes, absolutely. Some interesting ones. We're, we're trying to think outside the box, I think. Yep. Yep. <laughs> All right, y'all. We love you. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to do down below. We love you. Until the next one. <laughs> Bye. Bye.